In today's video, I went out and bought something from Harbor Freight, and if you're a true go-kart fan, you should know what this is. Yeah, y'all just saw what it is. It's a Predator 212. Yeah, say goodbye to that five and a half horse Tecumseh Boggin machine, the master at Boggin, and say hello to endless upgrades on Go Power Sports. Yeah, I went out and bought this with my own hard-earned money from the week, and yeah, I got the non-Hemi. Because I like the Hemis better. And I think they make a little bit more parts for them. I'm not going to be telling y'all what all I'm going to be doing. But I will give you one hint. I'm not going to be doing just performance kit one. But I'm also not going to be doing performance kits. It's better than that. Okay, I'm going to be making around... Mm, do I want to tell the horsepower? No, nah, y'all can guess it in the comments. If somebody guesses it, I'll let you know. But yeah, I'll, I'll tell you um one thing it's gonna be good so after christmas this is gonna be a great build series probably one video two videos and then we'll get down there and see how fast it is we're gonna be getting a top speed run with that old junkie to come see boggin machine and see how fast it goes before we put this uh new 212 non hemi so yeah we haven't even broken it in opened it up or anything so i'm gonna quickly unbox this so i'm gonna set y'all up really quick where y'all can see it, okay? Here we go. Alright, so we're gonna quickly unbox this. It is really cold outside, that's why I'm all bundled up. So I'm just gonna slice this open right here. Let's see what goodies we have inside. Open her up. So we got the uh, manual, of course. The good old manual. Nothing special there. Just tells you what you need to do. How long you need to break it in for. You have this right here. This is actually to take your spark plug out. It's a little cheap Chinese spark plug tool. I actually already have one though. And that's just some phone. Some trash. I'm trying to. Here's like some little knickknacks here and there. Just telling you like how to break it in and whatnot. Fill gas here, add fuel, put add engine oil below. Uh, this is just like a diagram of like everything on your engine. Nothing special there. All right, let's get to the goods. Let's go ahead and pull this sucker out. And we will just Holds it up. Surprised. All right, guys. There she is. In all the glory. So I'm gonna quickly do a review slash unboxing. And yeah, in the next video we might be breaking her in. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna grab y'all really quick. All right. So like I said, it comes with that spark plug thing. So on the engine itself, of course, it's a 212 non-Hemi, and you can know the non-Hemi's because it has, the Hemi has just cut straight off here, and the non-Hemi has it like that, and the Hemi has like a more rectangle looking one, it's longer, and this one has like a more triangle one. Also, there's just a bunch of stuff that's different about them, but like the main difference is I think you have like 200 more RPMs and people like them better just in general. So they're made by actually two different people in China, so. Yep, here's the on and off. On and off switch right there and oil right there. Of course, there's no oil in it currently. I'll see, just, oh yeah, she cleaned, she cleaned. Actually, I think there is a little, just a little like, in like oil from the factory not really any just oil off the parts in there yep uh, three-quarter inch shaft 
We'll quickly take that off. Got the key. It's all greased up. Now I got it on my hand. I believe that's the same size as my torque converter. I don't remember my it's been so long since I put my torque converter on. So you have choke and no choke. Sorry. Choke and no choke on and off on the fuel. Um, here's the full start uh, gas right here. Oh, I didn't know there was a chain on it. It's pretty nice. And then there's a little filter. While you put your gas in, so it's pretty nice. And, yeah. Must check oil every eight hours and operate. Or, yeah, you get it. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a video on this. And, yeah, it's going to be sick, honestly. It's going to make so much... I'm not even gonna tell you what it's gonna make, but it's gonna be good. In all, I would probably spend around $300 with, so $200 in upgrades and $100 on the engine. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it'll be the top speed run with the old Tecumseh. So yeah, peace out.